I mentioned to you that we want to put on the right amount of water at the right time. Now I'm going to bring this uh, sponge up to field capacity. Now remember field capacity, there we're at field capacity, is how much water the soil can hold at, under the pull of gravity. And so we had a few drops come through, there's no more drops coming through, so this sponge is now at field capacity. Now let's take some of my uh, Weiss food coloring here. And we're going to put use the food coloring to represent some fertilizer or nitrogen fertilizer, which is uh, very uh, soluble and leachable. Or it might also represent um, some uh, herbicides or pesticides that we may have applied, crop protection. Uh, chemicals that we've utilized to assist us in growing our crop. And I uh, accidentally uh, do a little bit of over irrigation and I get some deep perk through the soil profile. As I mentioned to you, once we do that, uh, sometimes we mistakenly think we're going to uh, save that water in the profile. We particularly try and do it in the spring when there's lots of uh, uh, winter snow melt coming out of the mountains. There's plenty of water and we mistakenly think that we can just save that water in the soil. We can't. The soil only has a limited ability to uh, hold water in the soil. Once we exceed the field capacity, it deep percolates through the soil profile carrying with it any chemicals or any uh, fertilizer that we've put on and as you can see the yellow color of the deep percolation through here I've, I've leached my fertilizer or my chemical into the groundwater that can also return into the river system or into lakes, uh, local lakes and ponds and different things and cause problems, environmental problems for us.